You know, while we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Very amusing. I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. He said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? Right. I like to think so. How are you? Always good to see you. Evening, Arthur. You know, when I was younger, I'd try and rob anyone, anything. If it weren't nailed down, I'd take it. If you had anything, I'd try and take it from you. I know now I seem like a sweet old man. <laughs> But as a young man, I was worse than any of you fools. Total and absolute degenerate. A liar, thief, a killer, <laughs> when necessary. Then I met two people changed my life. My dear wife, Bessie, and good old Dutch. <laughs> and for 20 years now, life Life has made sense. It isn't my fault, all the unkindness and misery, and I can't stop it, I can't change it, but I can improve things just a bit. That's a lesson I learned from each of them. From what I try to teach you fools, life can be better. We aren't perfect, but we can protect people we love. <laughs> Dutch caught me trying to steal food from him. I thought he was going to kill me. But we looked at each other and we saw something. We've been best friends ever since. He's crazy and I'm a fool, but I, I trust him because he's true. There's no lying in him. And when somebody doesn't lie in this world and you don't lie to them, then together you can achieve great things and destroy great powers. Ignore everything else I said, but remember that. <laughs> Jose, how are you? Might as well rest while you can. <laughs>